All right, starting up here pretty soon. This is Ice Crown Citadel 25, man. I'm on my main rogue, and we finally got the go-ahead to play Assassination. We've been combat the first three weeks. Now it's time to pump. No exposed duty, no bullshit, just Assassination. It's gonna be great. We're at Lord Marogar, this is a guild run. It's gonna be awesome. So we Tricks of the Trade are assigned Warlock to start off. Go in stealth. Five, Gonna get four, ready here. Pre-pot. Slice. Hunger. Rupture. Little bit slow on some of those button presses at the start there. not go fast enough on that to uh, get the Envenom off on the Bone Spike is what I was hoping for. There's another Bone Spike Graveyard. Whoa, he's right on top of that one. That's no good. They're cleared. Spiked. Bopped. We're good. Run through. Prioritize the spikes. Oh no, the fire. Sprint back to the boss. Chill. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. There we go. Boss is dead. Pass. 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 Does this still hurt me after the fight's over? Maybe not. Uh, okay, we're gonna pick a different melee DPS to do tricks of the trade on. Like... Sturp, how about? We were overriding our tricks of the trade a whole lot of times on Giga Goose. Uh, all the rogues were tricksing him. <laughs> so... Not quite what we wanted. We actually didn't do very good on that one. I wonder if our damage taken was lower than other characters. Because you are among the few. Get 
Yeah, we did have lower damage taken by about 20k. That's not a whole lot. What about friendly fire? Oh, we did less bone spike. Wow, we actually just did bad. That's honestly what happened. My weapon swap macro is not correct, so we just loved that one. This is the one we want. My Lady Death Whisper, we got for loot here. Heart Pierce would be good. I think if Heart Pierce drops, it'd probably go to Disown, because he has no Ice Crown Citadel daggers yet, and I already have a slow dagger. Our Pierce is an uh, exciting one. I'm not in range of my Warlock. Must be over here. Five, four, three, oh, they all two, went over here. One. one. What is this disturbance? You dare trespass upon this hallowed ground? This shall be your final resting place. Martyrdom, run away from that. Arise and exult in your pure Gonna take this off the bar. We don't do a lot of damage to these because uh, they're immune to magic, but we can help. Next wave is already in, so let's just go right back. A little stun there. Oh, I am mind controlled. Getting controlled. Okay, we're fine. We lived it. There's no no cyclones, but we we managed to not die anyways. Arise and exult in your pure form. I. 
release you from the curse of flesh! Powerless to resist my will! Still just priming the ads. That was, I shouldn't have actually done a mutilate there. So I don't hit that ghost. Oh, I didn't see the one behind me. I saw the one in front of me. there. I'm back in. From the ghost. Powerless to resist my will. Ghost, also a cult fanatic. Okay been able to spin around a lot and stay on the boss, which is nice. Why can't I invent them? There we go. Okay. Big fog damage. Two ghost. There we go. So this is a very complicated. There's a lot for me to pay attention to right now. Got to focus. You are weak. Powerless to resist my will. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. What do we got? Juggernaut Band, Shadow Frost, another Nibelung. Shoulders of Mercy killing. No heart pierce today. That was a good kill, I think. PBR Jax, how's it going? It's paying for the gift sub they got from Spy to the community. Well, thank you. That's very generous. Thank you for the subscription, PBR, the gifted sub. They landed on o -Rame. Congratulations. Did Whispering Fang skull drop? No, nah, that's only in 10 man. Uh, we used a, um, we used a, a paladin with frost resist, so they were in melee range of the boss most of the time, uh, I believe. All right, we can put kick back on the bar now. Big fog damage. Okay. Thank goodness you arrived when you did, heroes. But it was a clean. Yeah, that was a good kill. I mean, that was a one shot in heroic. And last week in raid two, we wiped a couple times and then went normal on that boss. So like, that's good. That's good improvement using the 
I, I really think a frost resist tank and not interrupting the boss is a good strategy. Gifties, PBR Jack gifting five more subs. Thank you so much. Damage. This is very nice. Big fog damage. Big fog damage. There we go. Very big pog damage. Johnny DeMello asks, will four-piece T10 combat rogues use eviscerate to drop unexpected bonus pips every time we make the simulator try to cast eviscerate it's a hey, dps loss no, no one who's worked on the simulator has found a way to make casting eviscerate actually a gain Gunship time. Easy loot. Okay, we're in bat form. Wait, can I not? Wait. Okay, now I can do it. <sighs> we can't rocket pack when we're in bat form. Start in stealth. So we have uh, overkill bonus when it's time to jump. Alright, we're gonna jump when this timer hits 8. Jumping soon. Jump. Okay, we're good. Jumping soon. Jump. Probably don't need to jump this one. There we go. Easy boss. Maybe there's a little Ekphiris sack, perhaps? Let's see if there's an Ekphiris sack. Cloak could be good. Oh, literally zero lo rogue loot. Unlucky. Okay. Cloak? No, there's no cloak. Alright, prediction. Will. 
Deathbringers will drop. Predictions up. I'm gonna look at this gun sarfang. Do we, can we get on the sheet like assignments of like Melee are supposed to switch to this one or something like that? Do I know which one's getting hodged? I'm always going on Skull. That's the plan. Which is supposed to always be stunned. game is this from? Um, Golden Sun. Okay. I'm always on triangle. Trying to clarify who's doing what on the blood beasts. Do I notice? You're making it too easy for me. Tricks out against the might of the alliance. Charge! Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. By the might of the Mitch King.
good. Clean swap, clean swap back. Clean beast handling. We do have to delay our tricks of the trade activations a little bit to make sure we have them up when the beasts are up. So we get a little less DPS out of tricks of the trade. not a very clean swap. I stuttered a little bit selecting the target. Be soon. Got the Envenom, only three point, a little inefficient, but we want to deal damage to the beast and move along. I think I just got a parry. Blood be soon. Good. It's fifth mark. Probably not rupturing again here. That was good. We could have got one more in Venom there. Could have got one more in Venom. Time to close the prediction. What's it gonna be? Blessed. Choose outcome, yes. Such a tragic end. What in the? They're in the Three for four. Three out of four. The chill of this place freezes the marrow of my bones. Soldiers, fall in! Looks like the horde are coming to take another shot. Well, you can blame my aunt for inviting me to dinner Thursday, okay? I was, I, see, like, I was in this raid. All right, guys, next week we're going combat DPS. Uh, by the way, we're done with this shitty assassination spec, guys. Assassination is a C tier DPS spec, you guys. Okay. It, it just is. That's the way it goes. It's uh, C tier and bad. Okay. Or we just stay assassination. Or we stay assassination and uh, enjoy the death ring as well. Rick's. How's it going? You got here just in time. My DBW is currently on internal cooldown for one minute because I just equipped it. We're going to transform here soon. Don't 
The internal cooldown is like 90 seconds or something. Is a good trinket. Good trinket. Stand down, Muradin. Let a grieving father pass. Wait, wait, wait. We can't get Deathbringer's will and then fail to disarm the traps or something like that. That would be awkward. Scout. Looking for trap. I don't see trap over here. Malmo, did you get the one on the left? I didn't get the one on the right either. I didn't see it. You just got bumped out of stealth there. I am of Rykel. Look at this. Where is it? Right up here. Wait, why can't I mouse over it? Okay, whatever. I'm pumping. Even though I wasn't in that in combat at the start of this pull. Rifle form. Rupture up. Rifle form over. Sad. Uh Vrykel, not Valkyr. Uh, it gives you random transformations. There's three different transformations it can do. Uh, Vrykel, Iron Dwarf, or Tonka. And then it just has a giga long cooldown, which is kind of annoying. Dude, you got- dude, I, the item I think is the coolest this phase is fucking Nibelung. Dude, that staff that summons Valkyrs, that shit is cool. I immediately switched to Plague Scientist when you said that. I will not forget this kindness. I thank you, Highness. I, I was not at the Rapture. You excited for Cataclysm, Rogue? Dude, this, this is my... I think, like... I think uh, Lich King's a little bit too difficult, and my understanding is Cataclysm rating is more extremely difficult bosses and i'm just not hyped for that i'm really hoping for some kind of classic plus announcement at uh blizzcon it's just like i i actually just want i want the game to be accessible to more people than heroic lich king is accessible to you know not too stoked about anything cataclysm related Same, actually. Jaina, why are you crying? The other, one of the other guys of this raid who has DBW was just like, uh, I'm gonna need a one minute pull timer. And I looked at my trinket There's cooldown. I was like, yep. Yeah, I agree. I'm proud of my king. Muradin. Classic Plus is like one to two years out. We'll see. We'll see. We can still hope until BlizzCon when they tell us it's uh, not happening. When BlizzCon tells us it's not happening, that's when we stop hoping. Okay, here we go. Fester got three, time. Two, two, one. one. Just an ordinary gas cloud. But watch out, because 
That's no ordinary gas cloud. Just focused on the pump right now. Big damn. Follow that so we get the spore buff. Good. Oops, that was a double mutilate because I didn't notice my T10 proc. I noticed it this time though. on tank right now. You don't have to step in yet. Step in now. Got the spore. On left leg. Okay, good. Chillin'. Oh, I totally forgot to be pressing Tricks of the Trade. Big L. Thinking about too much, uh stuff apparently we got to just go back to Invenom build it's clearly this many finishing moves is too complicated <laughs> there's another tricks to trade out it's good hunger refresh Insta finishing move off of a ruthlessness plus uh, four piece proc. Okay, good. There won't be any goose for a little while after a punch in flight. Left leg. Tricks of the trade out. Oh, we just missed this spore. Eh, uh, that's fine. This spore we don't really need. We're gonna kill it before it does another pungent blight, almost certainly. Unless something goes incredibly wrong. And missing one spore also is not a big deal. We can still survive. Not doing any more ruptures. I think this fight's over. Nice. Gangrenous. Okay. Good for combats. Pass, pass, pass. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. The Feral Druid with Deathbringer's Will was only a thousand DPS ahead of us. When you factor in the Tricks of the Trade damage, probably only like 200 DPS ahead of us. Uh, Mr. Simon Eyes, enjoy your raid. I must get ready for mine. Good luck on the pump and grats on the DBW. Thank you, Mr. Crix Vibes. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you have a good raid and a good stream. Uh, okay. Uh, I had to. I have to catch up. Are you Simon I Show or C tier class? In, in this raid, I'm Simon I Show. Uh, disown is C tier class. Uh. 
All right. Not streaming. I'm in LA already for BlizzCon at a gaming cafe. Oh, that sounds cool. I, I decided not to go to BlizzCon. Like I'm, I'm in like in the middle of the U.S. I'd have to do a flight, a hotel, an event ticket. Like it just seemed like it was too much cost for me. But I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how it goes. Pirate costume, gnome costume. Okay, we're fine with that. That's all. That's all good. Get over here. In range of my warlock for a little tricks of the trade. Three, two, one. Oh, Fester Gut, you were always my favorite, next to Rotface. The good news is that you left behind so much gas, I can practically taste it. Okay, good. We're not going to forget about Tricks of the Trade this time. Not going to forget about Tricks of the Trade. There we go. Following the blue dot. Going over here now. Okay. Good news, everyone. I fixed the poison slime pipes. Mm -hmm. I think I made an angry poo poo. It's gonna be what your step. Good. Forgot about tricks for a little bit there. Oh, we have another um, EBW proc. That's a good time to use my second haste potion. Great news, everyone! The slime is flowing again. Going all the way to left foot. Okay. Up, tricks used. News, everyone. The slime is flowing again. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's gonna be an explosion soon. Watch your step. Good news, everyone. I fixed the poison slime pipes. Okay, that, that move call was made too early. You saw some of the melee move before the cast of the unstable explosion finished. And that's that's the problem. You need to move after the unstable explosion finishes casting. The poison slime pipes. Losing up time. Do the thing. Watch your step. 
unlucky. No more ruptures. Boss is almost dead. Good news, everyone. I fixed the there we go. Raging behemoth, shoulder plates, seal of many mouths. Death surgeon's sleeves. All right, we're going Valithria next. Not a DFO. Yeah, that ring kind of blows, honestly. Like, I could use that ring right now, but as soon as I get Ikfira's Sack of Wonder, I can no longer use that ring. <laughs> Valkyrie aggroed in the middle. Yeah, no DFO on Rot Face. Unlucky for the casters. This is a Deathbringer's Will only raid, okay? Three out of four Deathbringer's Will, man. That's pretty good. Ready your arms, my Look, I'm in Vrykel form. Even dying here beats spending another day what is this one? For that 700 haste is the Vrykel. In a vital banner. Yeah, dude, Cream Slag, it's insane when you go to raid and you actually just take Expose off your bar like that. And then you get to deal damage and fuck, dude. It's so good. You are nothing more than a traitor. Come, your second death approaches. I don't know if this is actually a good weapon swap here. Probably not. Go back to regular weapons. I just wanted I wanted the chance at the Fell Striker pop off. But C tier class is gonna beat me. He has it seems like he has a blade flurry on his spec swap. So he can uh, he can really pop on these trash packs way better than I can. I should probably reevaluate how I do my two specs. Getting a blade flurry build in here or just a straight up combat build. On if I want to optimize damage on trash, it's probably a good idea. They come. Now, Valithria is the one spec where I really would want to have a combat build. Because I think combat just does better on that fight. Because there's so much downtime. Just being able to crank cooldowns when you're actually fighting something is pretty good. But I stupidly did two different builds of assassination that aren't even that useful. <laughs> 
well, sure, Master, which must is truly worthy of the title of champion. Oh, what do we get this time? What's this? Power of the Tonka, 1,400 attack power. That's a lot of attack powers. Why can't I invent him? This... Oh, I see why I can't invent him. My poison's expired. You were right, Croc. Awkward. I'll remain and inform Tyrion of our progress. You must press on and bring down Sindragosa. Loktar, champions! Immunity. Oh my God! Use me for his potions. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, Valit the Ria time. Dude, gnomes are so short. Okay. What side am I supposed to be on? Valithria Dreamwalker. I am supposed to be on the left side. Okay. We can definitely go for this build. The non-rupture build. On this fight. There's no shot we're rupturing anything. New food buff. Entering stealth. Five, four. All right, we're just gonna chill. Two, it's Valithria. It's a healer encounter. Like the only healer encounter in the history of the game, where you can actually heal the boss faster. Heroes, lend me your aid. I, I cannot hold them off much longer. All right, now we chill. Uh, let's see, Meta Tank is on my side, so I'll set focus on him. And it would normally be my uh, tank target. Suppressor spawn, you can go to them immediately. They will never attack you. You don't need to wait for a tank to show up. Because all they do is run to the boss and ch channel uh, suppression. I have a portal into the dream. Your salvation lies within, heroes. That one, I used Tricks of the Trade on my tank so that I could run to it without risking uh, pulling threat. We're going to need to find something with a bleed on it that we can hunger for blood. Like this guy. Run over here. Just get hunger for blood off of that. Sprint back over here for the Archmage. Suppressor, higher priority than Abomination. There we go. How to show the heal meter for this fight? Yeah, maybe. I 
Can I get close to this guy? Yes, got the hunger of blood off of him. That's what I wanted. Saving the boots for another blazing skeleton. Not worth burning the boots to get to a abomination faster. Blazing skeleton's like the most dangerous by far. coming out. We got the tricks of the trade going into the tank already. Got the hunger for blood up. Cannot stun these, apparently. I have opened a portal into the dream. Your salvation lies within. Fix these into the tank. Suppressors. I have opened a portal Blazing into life. the dream. Your salvation lies within heroes. Trade damage, threat misdirection, whatever. Go to this guy, evasion. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. And missed on har Oh. Oh. That one's good. Missed on rib spreader, missed on heart pierce. But a lung breaker did drop. No, all that talk about going combat. Uh-uh. Not having it. Uh-uh. Stagger time. Assassination rogue. Let's go. Ooh. All right, Cindergosa, we're definitely using in Venom build. We're actually spamming faint on this boss. All right, okay, heal meter, heal meter, heal meter. Ooh, 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 ooh look at that. Also, look at that. That's a good one. CLC. I don't know what you're talking about. What does that acronym mean, Cream Sloggy?
actually garroting that to make it stop casting spells. Can we get out this guy to help bring him in? No, he just he just keeps doing what he wants to do. Unlucky. We only have one death knight in this raid, so we don't actually have a lot of death grips available to pull those mobs in. The gate is open. Now this next pull is definitely a Spellblade Fell Striker pull. No question about it. This guy has Blade Flurry. You, you, you know how I know. Again, we're in not rupture build right now. We're regular assassination, so no rupture spam. Frees up a glyph slot to be glyph of faint on this encounter. I did for oh my god, I did forget one thing. I forgot an extra Okay, I know what I'm gonna do to solve this. I forgot a second arctic fur to be able to go to frost resist enchant and then go back after Sindragosa. So the solution is going to be we frost resist our second best bracers instead. And instead of our best ones. There we go. Nah, dude, locks, you can't rely on them for anything except uh, inflating your tricks of the trade DPS numbers. That's the only thing you can rely on them for. Except then they're uh, out of range. Why are you playing with your... Oh, because I forgot to switch them. We had an AoE pull a moment ago. The thing is, like, the locks, they're just out of range. They're, they're like, oh my god, it is so tilting. One time, in one of my GDKPs, we got a lock that got a bite on Blood Queen. Got first bite and was like, and then the raid leader was like, Simon, tricks the warlock that just got bit. And I look, and I'm like, fuck, this warlock is out of range. And they're like, tricks the warlock, Simon. And I'm like, Turn my character around, walk out of melee range, press tricks of the trade. Oh my god.
Weird. But uh, after that, um, after I did actually Tricks of the Trade that Warlock, my Tricks of the Trade contributed a substantial amount of damage. It was, it was actually worth. It was good. It just would have been gooder if they were in melee range to begin with. You know what I'm saying? You have come to this place. The icy winds of Northrend will consume your soul. All right, we're rocket booting. Two stacks. I'm. Oh no! I just got an extra stack. All right, now we just spam faint this entire fight. Yeah, I actually did not mean to rupture there. Cloak. Can you feel the cold hand of death upon your heart? And trading cold coming through. Oh, I almost Mortal, went in too early. As your pathetic magic betrays you! Your incursion ends here! None shall survive! Okay. We're good here. Chillin'. Kinds of bad opener. We got picked. We go this way. Good, chillin'. Totally fine. Urge to purge is on the right. They were unclear which one this person was in. I know which one they're in. They're in the same one as me. Much better opener that time. I did not see my T10 proc. Did an extra mutilate there. That shouldn't have been there. Now I'm stopping attacking because I have too many stacks. Can you feel 
the cold hand of death upon your heart! Suffer, mortals, as your pathetic magic betrays you! Okay, getting probably one more, one more air phase here. Your incursion yep. ends here! None shall survive! Okay, we are not picked this time. We don't really need to do any damage to these. go finish these off uh, I hit my tricks on the wrong target I'm gonna have to get my warlock with the next tricks activation letting these stacks fall Boss seems like it's going down really fast. Perish. I gave my warlock the tricks of the trade. Can you feel the cold hand of death upon your heart? I think I'm just gonna warlock tricks the rest of the fight. Faint active. The flaw of mortality. Bank down. Extra stack. Who's got the tomb now? Okay, we gotta drop these stacks. Suffer, mortals, as your pathetic magic betrays you! The flaw of mortality! No, it's Can over. You feel the cold hand of death upon your heart? My right, wife is called. Uh, okay. Let's switch this. Enemy damage taken. Syndragosa damage. That's what we rather look at. We rather look at uh, Syndragosa damage. Both our shamans got unchained, so raid healing was just, uh, yikes. Okay. A good tank block at the end, too? Really? I didn't catch that. Uh, Gangrenous off spec. Uh, pass. This is use. Hang on. Useless once I get Ichthyrus. Uh, upgrade. Pass, 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 pass.
Wait, was this not a resurrection angle? Okay, we're running back. How's the raid going so far? Just got back from taking the kids trick-or-treating. Started snowing. Dude, it was snowing around here today, too. Fucking annoying. Uh, I would say... I would say this raid's going pretty well. Um, this is a good one. We're playing a DPS spec for the first time in a long time in Ice Crown Citadel. Just got one of these trinkets. I hear they're pretty good. And one of those also like 200 DPS up on this one. So, you know. Yeah, this is, this raid has gone for four weeks. And out of four weeks, they've gotten three heroic Deathbringers wills. The Lungbreaker is a good pickup also, absolutely. AK, he wanted to avoid progression. Well... If they put me in the progression raid, I would do the progression raid. I would not, you know, I would not, um, be mad about that. But, uh, honestly, wiping to Lich King four hours in a row, not enjoyable. <laughs> I'm gonna be, uh, completely honest. Not enjoyable. Alright, health stone. Goose and Melmil got the other two. Yep, 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 that's correct. Melmil combat, goose, feral. It's okay, Simon out Cream Sloggy in Lich King dies. That could happen. You got no stealth in there doing combat? He's good. He's good. <laughs> so they're they're handing out a couple pieces of loot. I like this undead pirate costume I got here. I like it way better than when they give me wisp costumes, especially like mid-combat wisp costumes. And then I can't attack. That's kind of awkward when that happens. What's our gear score go up to if we equip Lungbreaker? Sixty-one fifty-eight. that's nice. 
Wait, no, but it should be higher because we sh normally have this. 61.78. Alright. You like getting wisp costumes? Yeah, all the time, all right. Uh, all the time. I love it especially right after I press Blade Flurry, but before I the next global where I get to start pressing Fan of Knives on on a uh, you know, 25 mob AoE pull. That's my favorite time to get wisp costumed cuz it's just the best. Tracking cooldown. You could just watch for whenever I activate Blade Flurry, and you know that's exactly when to wisp form. I wonder if you could grief someone. I wonder if you could wisp them mid killing spree. If you like, sit there and have like a <laughs> weak or a monitoring a killing spree. Three, two, two, one. one. You are All right, we're getting into position so here. This place. The icy winds of Northrend will consume your souls. Trix Warlock. Remove threat transfer. Hunger for blood. Faint. Okay. The Unlucky. Uh, one guy pulled threat. <laughs> it was a. Uh... <laughs> Zerod says, I was summoned to provide biddies. Who do you know who deserves some biddies? Well, I appreciate the hundred biddies you got to me. Uh, there's lots of other good WoW streamers, too, if you think other people des deserve more biddies. But uh, that's got to be up to you, not up to me. Desync DBW by 20 seconds. Why would I do that? I'm pretty sure that wasn't me pulling threat. I think I was I was up there on threat, but I hit the tricks. Maybe we just hit the tricks on the tank on the first iteration. Uh Thor Thor's in chat. He knows warlock shit. Can you you can't maintain the corruption through the air phase, right? You got to reapply every ground phase, right? No, you can't. So you do have to reapply every time she lands, reapply. Okay, yeah. So I could just I can go tank on the first one and unlucky for demon uh he won't get a snapshot on the first one, but then I can just tricks him like every other time.
Alright, here we go. Dude, what do... I don't know what you're telling me about desyncing DBW. Too much energy. Unlucky, that was bad. Need to slam some more in Venoms. Dropping stacks here. Blistering Cold goes off. Tricks on Warlock again. Hmm. We got Vrykel form this time. Haste buff. Be nice. Too many stacks, wow. Whoopsies, forgot about cloaking those. Fixed it right there. Okay. Your incursion ends here! None shall survive! Good, we did not get picked. Chillin'. Number three. And the final one. Cloak's not available. We'll just let this fall. There we go. Now we still have our cloak. Phase soon. Your incursion and go. None shall survive. Okay, we're good. 
We do not get picked. This will probably be the last air phase here. Blocks are out. Okay. Slow down here. What percent is the boss at? Okay, we're going to hold the tricks of the trade until the boss is actually at 35. So we can hit our warlock at just the right time. There we go. That's what we want. Cloak. Speed potion. Okay. Go to it. health. It's good. Our warlock died. When he gets res, we'll trick him again. Wrong button. Didn't need to press a slice and dice there. simply took too many stacks. Dude, every time I think it's gonna be okay to skip a block, every time I think it's gonna be okay to skip a block, it ends up not being okay. God damn it. I was like, you know, I came out of that block, I had zero stacks, the next block went up, I was like, yeah, I could probably go on here, skip a stack. a close one. Those uh um unstable magic or whatever it's called that caused some trouble. Alright, let me double check. I should have a stack high warning, but I don't think I did. Slash DBM, Ice Crown, Cindy. There we go. Stack high warning was disabled. Pretty good. Did your guild prio you on Vank tokens? I'm I think other people had higher prior than me. Um, I got lucky. I won two of them on roll in 10 mans. I think two. Most recently, I won two. I might have got a third one out of 10 man. I can't remember if the third one came from 10 or 25 man.
I'd absolutely focus on getting your tier armor first. For combat, that's helm and shoulder. For assassination, that's helm, shoulder, glove, and leg. Oh, yeah, this one. I mean, yeah, like, there's some order for tier tokens, and I got one of them. Yeah, with combat, you can do a two-piece setup, or you can do a four-piece setup. The spreadsheet and simulators tend to very slightly prefer the two-piece setup, and that's generally easier to access also, because um, you get gangrenous leggings that pretty much no one else wants. Uh, you get Ikfira's sack that is pretty much only de uh, desired by other rogues. Uh, apparently, it feral bear tanks want that item also. So, like, you fill up a lot of the other slots with stuff that's, you know, probably easier to get than, um, than tier armor. We just got gnome. Pretty good. Gnome pirate. I like it. stopped too close. I vanished to just be sure I didn't die. I actually forgot to get myself a food buff here. Oops. Alright. Do what we can to be better. We should now have our high stack warning enabled. That was a good fix from last time. Okay. Boss explodes. You jump around, you can hit her with a couple abilities as she's flying away. Which is nice. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of deadly poison stacks. This is why I really don't like attacking these blocks very much. Because deadly poison deals a lot of damage and you can't take it off. Chill to the bone stacks. Stop attacking. There we go. Phase soon. Your incursion ends here. None shall survive. Targeted. Here we go. Ooh. 
what add-on or weak or that's part of the foji rating pack which is a uh, unhappy that we're using it but it is a paid access add-on in my view that violates blizzard's uh add-on policy for some reason it's still allowed to exist time okay good switch the music to something actually cool uh, skip the lyrical track someone's Nibelung Valkyr is running in and out of this <laughs> ice block I'm gonna hold my tricks of the trade until boss is 35. I don't want to miss it. For that juicy 35% snapshot. Where is. Got it. Too many stacks. Backing off. We'll go for this block when it forms. Suffer, mortal, as your pathetic magic betrays you. Gotta get behind the boss, then. Oh shit! We almost. Whoa. Go. Little health stone. Perish. Okay, we're not skipping any tombs this time. Every every time I, I try to skip a tomb and be like, I'll be fine. It does not work out. Just, we're not gonna die this time. It's gonna play it safe. Probably just need to like actually just break this tomb. Been up for a while. Is this tomb still alive? Okay, now I'm skipping a tomb. Meta tank dead. Oh, 
waiting till we're behind the boss, then attack. All to go on boss. We did it! Oh, look at that! Kill the tombs. Phylactery, Bank, Protector, Primordial, Shadow Frost Shard, that's all good. Lester of Disaster, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Lester, what do you think about my Vrykel form? Yeah, pretty good. Thank you for the T2 sub. Thank you for 21 months of support. I appreciate that. Big fog damage. Logarik coming in with Prime as well. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream. Okay, switch back to our regular DPS stuff. Instant poison, refresh. Deadly poison, refresh. Okay. Still cringing as assassination. <laughs> We're doing all right. We're doing uh, pretty good, I would say, in fact. Damn, I hit my food buff, and then immediately after I hit my food buff, someone on voice was like, can we get a feast? Unfortunate. You need something? See you later. All right, we got the easy blood queen quest. Spidered. What's this? Can't tell. Whatever. What did Cindy drop? Phylactery. That was really nice. Heroic Phylactery. Big caster trinket. And a Vank. 277 token. Also very nice. Good luck on your further progress in ICC, says Lester of Disaster. Well, have good have have a good day on your holiday day tomorrow. That sounds uh, nice. Who's the tactician? There we go. Where's this going? I'm trying to keep these tacticians locked down because they do the most annoying stuff out of all the mobs in this pack. Hmm. 
One shot blood council. Prediction is up. Who is believing? And who is a hater? That's the question. Target got bopped. Assassination raid? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, this is an assassination raid. Stiffened corpse shoulder pads. Nope. From a ro combat rogue point of view, Wrath tier sets were so underwhelmed. Yeah, they're pretty bad for assassination, too. Pretty much, that's the history of rogue tier sets in Classic. There have been four, like, actually good bonuses throughout all the Classic expansions. We had Dark Mantle 4-piece, Bone Scythe 4-piece, uh, like original Bone Scythe. Then we had 2-piece tier 6 was good, and 2-piece tier 10 is good. And pretty much every other bonus is, like, pretty mid or actually irrelevant. View my assignments for this boss. Assignment I show is melee five. Okay, so that means I run directly backwards. Tricks there. I'm gonna close the prediction on will we one shot it. 30% believers, 70% doubters. It's just how it goes. Five, four, three, two, one. Naxanar was merely a setback. The power of the orb. Valinar will have his vengeance. Still in in Venom spec, not Rupture spec right now. Maybe I could have gone Rupture for this. Didn't quite get to the position I wanted to be in. But we did put a free feint up, which was nice. Did not get the faint that time. Oop. Nope. Stack high. Bloke. That's a wipe, they said. Oh, we gotta go regular damage done, huh? Stack high. Stack high. Stack high. Stack high. Stack high. And we're dead. In the pain. Yeah, the first knock was a DPS increase. The second one was not. Bright Falls, you did see a DBW. That's true. Got a little DBW. DB dubs today. 
And a long breaker. We uh did we've done good today. Uh, I'm gonna take a moment while they're rezzing. Uh, quick be right back for a bathroom break. Should be good for the rest of the raid then. Cinder goes to fall on heroic. Yeah, we've done everything heroic so far, so this raid's going quite well, I would say. Okay. Boot buff. We should go rupture build. We don't have time to switch spec. We were busy with other things. Why can't I... Make sense. Oh my god. Griefing. I'm actually griefing. There we go. Now we're... That was a little bit last second. Yep, yep, Bright Falls, you, you saw it. I didn't. That was three in Venoms in a row. That was nice. Tremble before Tal'Doran mortals, for the power of the orb flows through me. Okay, see if we can recover from that, um... Incredibly bad start. Delight in the pain. Vortex in the melee. Okay. My cup runneth over. I've spent both of my moves all uh, sprints already. Stack high. Okay, just gonna have to let these drop. Nope. I thought it was dropped. Oh my god, it had zero seconds. And then I just hit it again. Nope. All right, it's just changing Stack target again Stack soon. So high. we're gonna Stack go high. here. Stack high. Target swap in three seconds. We're just not making it back. <laughs> that was, ooh, Empower Shock Vortex. 
stack high. In the pain. Well, this went from a little bit yikes to oh now we're dead. Kinetic bomb. Okay. My cop runneth over. Alright, so Sorry. it was a, a little bit yikes on the positioning. Uh we'll be we'll be refocused this time. It was definitely a release spirit. Milosh says, hi, nice to see you. Hello. Welcome to the stream, Milosh. Definitely a Dali clone. What? Dali? Like, what are you guys talking about? Uh, oh. Oh, I remember. There was a... There was that clip of, uh, Solve Dolly. Yep. Yep. Doing poorly on this fight. I remember. Gonna pay out the haters? Um... What if I just didn't? Oh, okay, I got you. Alright, prediction. It's our prediction. Will we kill it this try? Question mark. Yes or no? There's no Valkyr, so we're good here. can hit up the rupture build this time. Jeeves repair bot is down. He ran directly into a kinetic orb? Yeah, but he's a melee. So what? Food buff? We're up to 267 item level. That's a lot. Okay, here we are. Stealth. Uh, Trix meta tank Four, on pull. Three, two, two, one. one. It's going to target swap. Stack high. Stack high. Stack high. Stack high. Can I make it to this guy? Probably not. I'm at 10 stacks and I'm slowed. 
can't change target while I'm slowed effectively. Now we can make it over here. Target swap in 12, so no more ruptures. Should have seen the target swap timer sent that um, in Venom just a moment earlier. Stack high, stack high. Oh! Stack high. Okay, we have high stacks right now. My cup runneth over. Stack high, stack high. Stack high, stack high. My cup runneth over. Spread. Dude, this, this strategy with running away is not very good. I feel like we, we never are in a good spot and very free oh we're dead worm flood will fall to your tolerable mortals for the power of the old light in the stream hmm all right this soundtrack is weird doing ocarina of time now hmm I feel like the knockbacks for the Shock Vortex have generally not been very good. Like, we get- we run out and then we get knocked usually even farther away. Alright, fight is reset. We're definitely not resible where we are here. It doesn't hit Dark Nucleus, though. Spire. So, my the position I'm assigned to run to, there's like one spot close to the boss, then there's a middle spot, medium distance, and then there's a third spot extra far away. I'm assigned to the middle spot. As everyone runs away, it's hard for me to know when I should stop moving because the person in the far spot will be running essentially on top of me. And I have to decide when to stop moving and my indicator at the like entire time will still just be red, suggesting that I'm too close to someone. Like I have to know when to stop moving and it's um, gonna be when my indicator is red, which is, really difficult to know if you're in the right place if you're red because the person assigned to the far spot is still next to you or if you're red because you're too close to the person assigned to the near spot do 
you happen to know why that would be, or is Tiny A-Bomb only good if it's heroic? I mean, it's a lot better in heroic, so that doesn't really surprise me. I'd wonder what your other trinket is, and maybe replace that one instead of replacing Comets, which is an extremely strong trinket. Okay, that worked. That time was good. Just knowing right when to stop. That's, that's good, I guess. Cloak, keep moving. Vanishes up. In the it's the last rupture on this guy. Okay. Target switch in 12 seconds. I'm not going to rupture here. Just in Venom. Stack high, stack high. Delight in the pain. Okay. Whoa. That was a kinetic bomb explosion Seven. there. Fuck. Well, we're fucked. Oh, well. Wait, Giga Goose res me. My cup runneth over. Oh. Blood will flow. Huh. Tremble before Talderam mortals, for the power of the orb flows through me. Delight in the pain. Mm hmm. Someone just made a level one dwarf to send me a message to harass me. Blood will Easy ignore. Such wondrous power. The dark fallen orb has made me invincible. What's the boss percent? Oh, boss is fairly low. In the pain. I don't know how I died, honestly, after Giga Goose rezzed me. Like, I literally didn't press any buttons. I rezzed, I stood there. And then I think one of the bosses meleeed me and killed me. My cup runneth over. They, they can still get this. For sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dead. Mad that you have DBW? Uh, I don't know, maybe. 
Wind pulses? Not wind pulses. I could look at my death log, actually. Wait, it was a... Oh, that was the first death. Second death. Melee Prince Tal... I literally didn't do anything to him. <laughs> That's the one after the battle res. Alright, 800k left on the boss. I think we got it. My queen, they come. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea how. <laughs> how I die after doing literally nothing. You know, I, I died, then I got battle res. When I died, literally all my threats should have been cleared. Got battle res, did nothing after that. Taldoram still decides to just tap me out. <laughs> Alright, where'd the fi oh, fish feast? Right over here, okay. I love when Horde make level 1 alliances to whisper me when they lose in world PvP. Hell yeah. Dude, that's so satisfying because you know they're so mad. <laughs> Crit haste and agility. Yeah, same as all the other rogue specs. It's the procs you get is based on your class, not... Wait, actually, maybe it's based on your talent specials. I think it's just based on your class. But yeah, they're the same as you get as a combat rogue. Uh, crit... No, it's crit... I'm sorry, sorry, it's not... It's a uh, haste, agility, or attack power. Those are the ones. We just got speed of the Vrykel. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just random among the three different procs that you can get. But uh, I have been getting a lot of Rikles with a lot of haste. Chains of Shadow. Unlucky. Get a disarm on this guy. Right as that kidney shot ends. Okay. Did your guild ret get, uh, I believe Sturp has one. Let me see. I know we got at least one. Oh, no. Sturp doesn't have one. There is one on one of our rets, I believe. Wait, that dude got killed. Wait, we failed the quest. We wiped too many times on council. <laughs> Uh, R.I.P. Five Frost Badges. The best is when you go to the reply to the level one and the person is already ignoring you, says Menarch. Yeah. 
Are you excited to progress Lich King Heroic? Uh, not doing that this week. Maybe next week. Left sign. We're melee. We're on the left. Where's my warlock, buddy? Is he all the way over here? He is. Okay, nice. Five. Okay. Four. Three. three two, two. One. One. You have made an unwise decision. to move away from those guys so they didn't deal me as much damage. Damn here. Oh, we just got Tonka for him. Hell yeah. Air phase in seven. I'm just going. Can you handle this? There we go. Okay, we're fine here. This is a fight where one person, uh, a couple people get buffs that double their damage output. And every time we do this, someone's like, oh my god, Hunter, that Hunter is insane. Oh my god. It's whoever gets the first bite deals double damage and <laughs> they, they pull way ahead. Got that. We now have a bite. Destruction. Feed my precious one. You are mine now. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you handle this? Folk, gotta live here.
Where is this person? Two. One. There we go. Where's Mel Mel? Can't get to that guy. Oh, I do not have Cloak of Shadows available right now because I burned it in the air phase. Okay. There we go. There we go. Shadow Frost, Bauble of True Blood, Protector, 277 token. Nice, 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 nice. All good stuff. Alright. Future's Eye and Lich King. Let's go. Time for some big assassination energy on Putricide. I think we ought to go not Rupture build. Uh, honestly, thinking about the, like, a little bit of added utility and flexibility not being Rupture build adds. Kind of feel like I should, you know, play non-Rupture build more often. Like, you could just flip your glyph around to be Tricks of the Trade or Faint or whatever. I'm kind of locked into some bullshit when you go Rupture build. going i don't know if we'll do any heroic lich king attempts in this run we do have like an hour and 20 minutes left in the run time which is a lot of time to just you know that we could do heroic lich king but like this isn't the group that's like set up to be the roster that's killing the lich king you know one hour of professor putricide pock rock no dude then go normal for both. No, prediction. Start prediction. Uh, will we one-shot heroic PP? Uh, prediction's up. It's gonna happen. We're gonna one-shot heroic PP. Don't worry. Oh, wait, I, <laughs> I fan of knives then immediately triggered my Vrykel form. Is there one glyph you consider 100% necessary on combat rogue? Yeah, killing spree never comes off. Uh, killing spree never comes off. Rupture and serrated blades is true power. I've, okay. You can do that. Like, you take a couple points out of here. How many more do you need? Three. You need six more points. So you put six points into... Z or, sorry, three points into zero DPS talents. Then you put three points over there. And you have a you have 30% rupture damage there. 30% rupture damage there. And your rupture glyph. It's very good. But... It's not as good as having 3% more hit and 3% more crit.
listening to some strategy. Yeah, combat can't take points out of the poison talents, and frankly, <laughs> if they could, they'd be putting more points into them. Yeah, it, it is absolutely forced by, like, how strong those poison talents are. You know, they're on the fourth row of assassination. So, like, you have to go 15 and then the final five into poison points, and, like, you can't really modify that. Bell is saying is save your sprint. Okay. Just here for the Zelda. Dude, that feels good, man, you know? Very comfy. shaping up for a pull here. I'm going to close the prediction as soon as the pull timer goes up. If you want to get some points in, will we one shot? There's currently 54% believers. That's pretty good. Pretty good. What if I told you... Actually, I can't remember. I don't think this group, Raid 2 group, has killed Heroic Putricide before. We've gotten very close, I remember. And the points shifted towards no. <laughs> of course. Big pog damage. Burger Boy coming in with a T1 Hi, sub. Thank raid. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Simon. Have a good raid. Well, I appreciate your support. And so far, it is a good raid. There's only two bosses left. Wait, it hasn't- one. we haven't ever pulled it in Heroic, you're saying? Is that for real? Am I misremembering- am I, like, thinking of my GDKP raid or something that got very close to Heroic and mistaking it for this raid? Soon. 
Damn. I was hoping I could vanish it. Hope so. Oh, it's dead. Target you. Target you. Room room. So many delightful possibilities. Help so. The not choosing a target. There it goes, okay. Help so. Can't actually hurt this one, but I also have to wait on this. Okay. Hmm. I don't feel a thing. Help so. Where those come from? Good. Four, three, two, one. Beware. Dude, and Venom build is way more chill, honestly. I like not having to think too hard about my rotation. Awkward. Green news is up. Who's coming through? Four, three, two, one. Beware. We gotta kill this green, then push the boss to the next phase. The way. Help so. Okay. As soon as green chooses a target, we go to it. Help so. The ooze damage is like pretty much more important than anything. So that's why we use our rocket boot there to get Help to so. it ASAP. Oh fuck. That was not good. Help so. Excuse me. Faint was active. Reduce some of that damage. Help, Soak. Good. Beware. Help, 
Mm, I forgot to get my warlock again at 35. With tricks. That's L on my part. I'll get him with next if he's in range. Three, two, one. Token gas bomb, move ahead. He is not in range. Three faints are nice. Damn, dude, I thought the Believers were going to be rewarded there. I thought that was going to be a Believer W there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Fucking El Marty and o Rain doubting all the time. Doubting their own guild. Should that be bannable? If they doubt their own guild's success? Or is that just called being realistic? <laughs> Points, bro. <laughs> Don't or I'll make you change hat. Okay, okay, that's fair. I do like this hat. This is my favorite. Barma squashy hat in a bag made of kangaroo leather made in Australia. Extra large because I have a big head. C tier class seems pretty good on the meter. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I already lost 60k points on the DBW. Your loss is my gain. Mmm, feels good. You didn't think we were gonna go three for four, were you? Hmm. Deadly over there, instant over there. Do we want something other than faint on this? Faint isn't like super good. We could actually just run a tricks glyph. Faint's good in the last phase though. Tricks glyph is good in the last phase too. I, I think we'll stick with faint. Screw it, faint is for healers. Flipping tricks. Okay. Prediction. JK, no time for a prediction. I have one of my mods in chat could put up like a... Uh, I don't know. Will tiny abomination in a jar drop? Five, that would be a good prediction. Four, three, two, two, one. Good news, everyone. I think I perfected a plan that can destroy all life on Azeroth. Moving, moving.
waiting for the zoos to spawn, and then I'm gonna mutilate. There we go. That's what I was holding the energy for. Help soak. Help soak. Nice. Killed it without an explosion. Well, without a second explosion. The first one was like not really super avoidable. Okay, we got orange gas variable. Is one room. So many delightful possibilities. Help so. Red needs a slow. Help so. Help soak. Help soak. Oh, wipe it up. Help this soak. is not the uh, not the pull. Where those come from? Help soak. Tear gas is only a normal mode ability. It does not happen on heroic. So when he, he's got three phases, right? And he transitions from phase one to phase two, and he has another transition two to three. Uh, in normal mode, what happens during the transition is he does tear gas and stuns everyone, and you just chill. And when you do it in heroic, no one gets stunned, but instead he spawns two oozes at the same time, and everyone in the raid gets a random debuff uh, either green or red ooze variable and you can only deal damage to the ooze that's the same color as the debuff you got so i had an orange debuff i could only attack the or, uh, red red i had a red debuff so i could only attack the red ooze should happen in addition to double ooze deal with it stunned literally <laughs> You have to stack paladins to bop people out of the stun and rogues who can vanish the stun. And then you idle in phase two to wait for everyone's bop and uh, vanish cooldowns to come back. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Big pog damage. Catalina, uh, what was that? Hang on. Catalina Meow coming with a tier one. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Welcome to the Simon Eyes show. We are towards the end of this uh, ICC raid. Doing a little heroic putricide. Looking good. We've killed every boss on heroic so far. I got a DBW today. I got a lung breaker today. We are popping off, dude. What is that black buff on the left to your flask buff? Oh! Haunted. Something is with you. I don't know why everyone doesn't have this, dude. This thing is the best. Wait, where is my dude? Wait, where is my dude? This is supposed to have a dude that fo A little ghosty that follows me. And I don't see him right now. But where is he? He's supposed to follow me. Okay, anyways, there's supposed to be... There's supposed to be a little ghost that follows you around because you have this item in your inventory. They appear and disappear from time to time. All right, well, 
Hopefully our ghost buddy comes back. Okay, here Three, we go. Two, two, one. one. Good news, everyone. I think I've perfected a plan that will destroy all life on Azeroth. Target you. Nice, good. That was so good. Was that a blink? I can't. I don't know if that was a mage blink. I think it was a mage blink. You can also do that with like a warlock demonic circle summon. Target you. Got green ooze variable. Gone. Help, sir. Help, sir. Oh! What just hit me? Help, sir. Actually, yeah. what killed me? Where those come from? Help, sir. Expunged gas. Four, three, two, one. Red me lead someone. Hmm. Interesting. Beware. Then an ooze eruption finished off a bunch of people. Yeah, it looks like the red ooze caught someone right at the end there. So it was a big explosion, and then it, like two seconds after that was a green ooze explosion. Oh, Dorius got some uh, trivia here. Let me see. They changed it some years ago. They aren't permanent anymore. They appear and disappear from time to time. It was the number one source of creature spawns within the game, which was causing server performance degradation. And during launch, we changed its behavior as one of many tweaks to help recoup some server headroom. Due to the ongoing demand on the game service and likelihood of similar demands in future expansion launches, we're not currently planning to revert it to its old behavior. Blue post from 2015 for Haunted Memento. Hell yeah. I wonder if there's any way to, like, force it to spawn. Like, if you trade it to someone and then they trade it back. Eves is up also, if you want to repair. I've got this item on all of my characters. Whenever I make a new character, even a bank alt, I go to the auction house, I buy one, and I put it in that character's inventory. How is four set? It's pretty good. It like 
Admittedly, the simulator doesn't think it's like that big of a deal, but it it's a DP it's a okay DPS increase and it's it's very fun. Uh, like when you hit a when you hit an Envenom and your combo points are already three or four and you just send another invent oh man it's so good I don't know, I just like having my ghost buddy. I didn't even realize that he was sometimes despawned. Alright, we move in closer so we get better uptime. Look at Putricide. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Good news, everyone. I think I've perfected a plan. Good. So. Nice. Port from the Warlock. Delaying the time. Might kill it. Yeah, killed it without any explosions. Hell yeah, dude. That's so good. Whoopsies. That was not supposed to be a, another mutilate there. So. I've got orange variable. So, or, I, I keep calling it orange. Uh, it's red and green. Hope so. That's what it is. Here we go. Help Hope soak so. that one. Ooh, gotta be away from this. Okay, we're good. Hope so. That's a duh. Four, three, two, one. Beware. Target you. You. Oh, Help cool. So. A plague now. Four, three, two, one. Beware. Help so. Okay. Fix this up. I'm gonna hold the vanish until the phase three. One. Beware. 
too many dead. They're calling for wipe. There is no worth of rapturing Rapture. ever. Oh, uh, we have two builds right now. We have one build where we have rupture, Four. and Three. one build where one. we don't. And we're just right now we're using the non-rupture build, so that's just what we're doing. So yeah, no no rupturing when we're not taking the talent and the glyph and all that. Doom music, I like this. I think this is a good uh, shift in energy for this raid. On rupture, you backstab? No, you never, you, you never backstab when you're playing assassination, ever. That's very bad. You have a way, way better, like, mutilate is so much better than backstab. If you have mutilate, you're, you're never casting backstab, uh-uh. This, this ability is way too good. Uh, on our other build, where we have a blood spatter for rupture, we take the rupture glyph, increases the duration by four seconds per cast. So two extra ticks of damage. So it makes the value per cast increased. Yeah, the whole idea of the rupture build where you take the talent, you lose two points here, take two points in that talent, you take the glyph, and you have to have a feral druid giving a mangle debuff. The whole idea is to make rupture at least a little bit better than in Venom. So then whenever you go to cast a finishing move and rupture isn't already up, you cast rupture instead of in Venom. That's it. Like you still just do the whole rest of your rotation the same. But we're not doing that right now. Uh, prediction. Will we kill it this try? Uh, one minute on the clock. Get your points in. Got one minute to put some points in here. Five, Get my tricks of trade out on my warlock, three, buddy. Two, I'm up one. close. T10, four piece proc and ruthlessness proc. And that's just insta four points again. Hell yeah, dude. Yep, sir. This is far away. We might be able to kill it before it explodes. Never mind. Almost. Green ooze variable. So many delightful possibilities. Help, sir. Oh, this is a bubble. Or something. Or ice block. That's why it's behaving weirdly. Something happened. It was on stirp. Yep, yep, yep. That's bubble. 
Very good. So we can't help with the red ooze because we still have this green variable uh, buff on us. Is coming soon. Looking good so far. Hope so. Four, three, Hope so. two, one. Beware. Good. Good, good, good. to stop on boss. Help so. Three, Ooh, two, that was a big one. hit. Help so. He's gonna go through some ooze. Yes, killed it. Okay. Time to push boss. Nice, that was a ice block. It's really good. Alright, it's coming through. Hit a faint. Got a little explosion there. Nice, killed it before the second one. That's very good. Choking gas bomb out. Yep. Oh no, there's a lot of people dead. We went from so good to so not good. I'm not keep. Damn. Damn, it was so close there. Just up and vibing. Yeah, that red ooze. Was it a. I think it was a red ooze explosion, right? Yep. Yeah, even if you kill your ooze first, you can't actually help with the other one. Yeah, you can soak green explosions, but you can't damage the other one. But where would I find these six Zelda chill tracks? Uh, I actually don't have them linked anywhere. This is just uh, files on my local hard drive. Um, 
But you can find a lot of uh, Zelda relaxing music on YouTube. That's what I would search. Alright, I think we're gonna do ma maybe one more pull. Prediction, choose outcome, no. Will the shamans press heroism? And by the shamans, plural, you mean there's only one of them. You mean the shaman singular. Wait. There's two shamans. He was dead and the yeah, there were there was only okay. There was only one until the other one was resurrected. Okay. That's okay. I see. I was looking for the dark blue color in the raid frames and I was like there's only one. Alright, I've had enough of the Doom music. It's exciting and all. But we're gonna go Hollow Knight. Predictions up again. Start prediction. Will we kill it this try? One minute on the clock. Get your points in. Where is my warlock, buddy? Okay, there we go. Five, four, Fix three, out. Two, two, one. Portal from the warlock. Help so. Unlucky. Whatever. We're fine. Back on boss. Was a bad pick. Help so. Help so. Okay. Help so. I don't Run. feel a thing. Keep moving. Huh? Where those come from? Okay, I had the red ooze thing, so I had to run away from him. That was that sprint usage there. Four, 
Red is up. Range DPS. Didn't get the Envenom off before that ooze died. Ah, I picked the wrong direction. Okay. Help, sir. It's fine. Help, sir. Uh oh. Gotta get Melee's back here. Four, three, help two, soak. One. Beware. Oh, I thought I hit the Envenom on it. Died with points again. Not ideal. Vanishes up. We're gonna hold it for the phase two to phase three pr prediction. Fa phase two to phase three transition, I mean. Another died with combo point situation. You, you don't. Those aren't what you want. Vanished. There we go. That's a good transition. See if we can get our warlock again in eight seconds. Faint active, reducing damage there. Get on top of this. Help, sir. Excuse me. Nice. Two. One. Beware. Giving another tricks to the warlock just to make sure they get the snapshot. I don't know if they got it on the first one. I think Warlock's actually just a good tricks target at this point because they're drain soul spamming. That might just be the play. I think that's actually the play. If they're in range, I'll hit them. If they're not, I'll hit Sturp. Prep Paladin. Four, my other bind. Three, two, one. my damage taken. Come on. Nope, we have a lot dead. But as long as the tank doesn't die. Damn! Oh, it was so close! Oh, so close. <sighs> Almost had it. Wait, no one went on the prediction? Okay, well. Haters.
Yeah, that was like, the, like basically our first attempt was like that. Like one or two percent wipe. Uh, and it looks like our last pull is gonna be like that. And uh, we're probably going normal now. Bald Dumpster Swede asks, Yo, Simon, are you playing Blood or Unholy Subspec on your DK? Uh, Unholy Subspec now. One, two, two, three. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the tanking situation. You guys always go and stack at the table on transition. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, they're saying one more? Oh. Uno mas, you guys. Is this it? Prediction, start prediction. Will we kill it this try? They're saying uno mas, okay? One more hard, uh, not hardcore, heroic try. We are pumping on this rug, though. Yeah. Makes sense, because, I mean, we have a shitload of gear. So, that makes, yeah, like, of course. Okay. Gonna have to close this prediction. Get your points in quick. Alright. Get your points. Get your points in. Get them in, get them in, get them in, get them in. Three, two... And submissions, tabbing back into the game, activating my speed potion. Here we go. Out of that slime immediately. Help, sir. Nice, dude. Blasting. Okay, we have red variable. Help, sir. Yikes. Help soak. Red's reselecting. Help soak. Fatality. Help soak. Will we kill it this try? Ah, uh, no. That was yikes. I don't know what was the deal with the red ooze. It, like, picked one person and they, like, 
went like this and then died. What the? Oh, loot council items. Sanguine silk robes, bauble of true blood. Nope. <laughs> None of that. Is this a uh, Uno Mas or a Go Normal? There's a very real chance I'm the last main to get DBW in the guild. Wait, really? QQ, Shadow Morn, Pryo, I know, right? Uh, I'm not sure if we're going normal or if we're going heroic. When, my question is, when is Simonizer Frost Death Knight getting his DBW, you know? put the prediction up again um it's sounded like this might be a heroic attempt or i'm not it's not clear if they're going again on heroic or not uh but there's the prediction will we kill it this try we're uh, rapidly approaching the end of scheduled raid time which is you know 12 p.m you know midnight 22 more minutes AM, yeah, okay. Technically, yes, it becomes AM. Truly the last heroic pull. This is going to be a heroic pull. Get your points in. The information is locked in. Raid leader said, truly the last time they go Uno Mas heroic pull, okay? Okay, truly actually the last time. Predictions up. Gotta get your points in quick. Closing this before we pull. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoopsies, I pressed a couple of the wrong buttons. Target you. There we 
we go. Okay, we got a green variable, booting. I don't know why other people don't have their boots for this. Like, I feel like I'm the only one that boots to it. Help so. Good. Help so. Nice. That good block. I don't feel a thing. What? Where those come from? We're looking good. That was a bad mutilate, but it's kind of fine also. Holding these cooldowns for the transition. I can't remember if I even pressed them at the start. I might have forgotten. for the green spawn get the whole squad is here ready to just pile on this green news Explosion. We probably could have avoided that. Tank dead? We're in trouble. Sterp dead. My warlock buddy dead. Rogue buddy. Activate. Four, three, two, 
one. Uh, this was not it. That was not the pull. We go normal. We go normal. 10 out of 12 heroic for today. Not bad. I'd say actually very good. Okay, so now that we're going normal, the prediction can change. Um, will Tiny A-Bomb Trinket drop? Prediction's up. Will all three rogues vanish the phase change? Yeah, but now I'm one of the three rogues. I can't have that kind of pressure on my own shoulders. I can't do that. I can't be channel point predicting on... Actually, I totally can do that. But no, it's set. We're, we're gambling on whether Tiny A-Bomb drops. Whenever we did those predictions before, I was on my frost death night. Extra flask. Okay. Pretty close. We had two really good attempts that were just, that were this far away. Hmm. I'm vanishing like right off the rip. Five. And then I'll vanish three. for the phase three transition three. also. One. So I'm vanishing as soon as my first overkill fades. If I wait with the vanish all the way to the second, um, to the first transition, it won't be up for the third, for the next transition. So I can only do one or the other. And if I vanish early like this, I'll still be able to vanish one of the two transitions. Careful to not push boss here. We gotta kill this or who's uh, first. Help so. Help so. It's okay. We we meant to do it this way. We meant to do it this way. It's fine. I, don't feel I sure hope we don't get one shot as soon as the, the boss becomes active again. Okay.
one. Okay, this is on a paladin. We can likely bubble it. Nice. That's good. Four, three, two, one. We transitioned it too fast. I actually didn't vanish either of them. Look, it's still on cooldown. Oh my god. Tastes nice. Actually griefed myself. Oh, excuse me. Again, a mutilate that was not supposed to happen because I didn't realize I got giga points from set bonus and ruthlessness. Uh, that one's caught me a couple times. Gonna have to get used to the possibility of that happening. submission that one is not what we were looking for uh-uh okay it's a no on the tiny a bomb trinket Simon Warrior when? Mm, never. We're not. We're not doing that. Uh uh. Wonder if I should change this DBW icon? Make it be an icon based on which buff you get. Cause like DBW up, it sometimes matters like what buff you actually got. Like do you have a, cause when you get the haste buff, the haste buff doesn't actually improve your ability damage. So you might, you know, figure things differently. We go to Lich King. What, what's the gamba for Lich King? Will anyone die to Shadow Trap? The answer would be no, because in normal mode Lich King there is no Shadow Trap, but that would be a good prediction if there was.
Do we go rupture build on this one? I think we should go rupture build on this one. Let's send it. Mm. JK, we're going back and we're pressing our faint glyph. Valkyr kill someone. <sighs> what do they die to when they die? Do they die? Is it fall damage when they fall off the edge and die? Do you just like hit the bottom? Or is there a kill zone that just auto kills you? I got because the prediction has to be verifiable, you know? Will you get chosen by Frostmourne? Okay, okay, that's a good one. Prediction. Will Simon Eyes get chosen by Frostmourne? Five minute on the clock. That's an unlikely one definitely an unlikely thing to have happen. You guys want to know what the voice comms were right before? Oh, Sturp died too. What the fuck? I need to pick a new target. But we don't even need the faint flip. The priest shield protects us. Wow. Maybe we, like, only need to faint in 25-man heroic. there.
classic no righteous fury on the paladin tank. Anyways, the comms right before the feral druid dies was salve me, salve me, salve me, salve me. Sorry. And then that's when he died. <laughs> We got picked by Valkyr. Oh no, someone who's disc- Oh no, 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 no. One of our guys AFK'd or disconnected, I'm not sure. <laughs> I got pi oh I'm I'm aft Do I have anything I can do here? I don't think so. I think I'm aft. Well, I didn't get picked by Frostworn, that's for sure. Choose outcome no. <laughs> Should have played sub. Yep, yep, should have played sub. That's so true. what your guild would think if you suddenly showed up as sub. <laughs> yeah, our show's over for tonight. They're gonna kill it without me. I'm gonna ride off into the sunset with my... And I buy the sunset, I mean my bed that's right over there. Log off, go to sleep, have good Deathbringers will dreams. Log in and raid again tomorrow. Died to 52 overkill? Man, I want to see, actually, from the falling death, what does it count uh, for me? Wait, I died to a defile? I must have been dead before I hit the bottom. Okay. Wait, the person who was inside Frostborn died, so Lich King enraged. We have five dead right now. Four, three, two, one. That was quite the normal mode, Lich King. 
with someone getting to file who was actually disconnected slash AFK for some reason. That was funny. Apparently, Defiles, um... <laughs> Never mind, whatever. <laughs> Time to go Raid Finder difficulty? I wish. Okay, there's six. No, Normal Mode Lich King, I think, is a fine boss. Hmm. Six dead now. Wonder if I can figure it. Can and can anyone? Is anyone targeting the? Here we go. Targeting the Lich King. Okay, we got boss health now. Holy shit! Six dead. You gotta turn back. What do you turn turn back? Four, Run back. Three, Can't zone in while uh, the encounter's in progress. Like almost no point. I I'm like if I stay in, we can keep looking at the boss health. Ask a druid to jump down and be rest. I don't think they can do that while moving. Isn't it a cast time? So like if they jump off the edge. I wonder where my corpse even is. Can you see it? That little blip? My No, that's a dot on my screen. Wait. I think my corpse is actually just deleted. I think it disappeared. Oh! Wait. Oh, wait, that's the success. Okay, that's the success uh, part. Wait. What happens if Tyrannus Menethil reses us? Let's find out. Did it stop growing because it got to max size or because all the people in it died? Insane. Alright. What do you guys think happens when Tarinus Menethil reses my corpse 5,000 feet below the fight? Will be fine? Okay. spawn at Lich King, so it's actually a DPS increase for the final phase, because you spawn on top of the boss, so you have more uptime for the final phase, the most important phase. And, because I've been dead for so long, look at, my ring internal cooldowns available, my DBW internal cooldowns available, my Comet's Trail internal cooldowns available, and if I had a tailoring cloak, that would be available too. Actually, probably the RP's long enough to... The RP's definitely long enough for <laughs> that to be ready, even if you didn't die. Light, grant me one final blessing. Give me the strength to shatter these bonds. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to click accept ASAP and begin blasting. Wait. Wait, these people had like soul stones and shit. Oh my god, it's not even fair. This guy's at 70,000 damage already. 9,700,000? He's doing 7k. Oh my god. Oh my god. The moment of reckoning, Tyrannus Menethil's chatting it up. Okay, rise up, champions of the light. Okay, we're going. Oh 
my. Oh, two Vanks? Arcus, Glorenzelg, Shadowfrost, Vank, Vank. Not bad. Skip. <laughs> on voice chat, the raid leader was saying, like, you know, good work today. We had people on, like, roles that they're not used to playing. Um, and so I said in raid chat, I was like, yeah, that's true. I'm not used to playing a DPS role, but I think I could get used to it. <laughs> so many raid spots as combat expose armor. <laughs> All right, pretty good. Three Vank marks. Oh, don't need any of those, though. Uh, melee attacks have a chance to guarantee you blessing of light. Increase strength by 100. Healing received by up to 300 for 10 seconds. No, thank you. 86. How's it going? All right, let's get the hell out of here. 13k on Sarfang. Don't worry about Sarfang. We already got all the Sarfang loot we need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 